Jody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. I can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Ida? Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was worried. I'd be looking for you. I had to run away. I had no choice. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Have they made any progress on the InfraWorld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. <laughs> what I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> on the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in a DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's locked up in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but... She's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk helping me. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait.
polite approach. Gets them every time. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in... I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Seventh floor, room 43. So far, so good. first. Too far away. I can see you, Aiden. <laughs> I can see.
Ah, uh, Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? Wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. Take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. That's my baby! For your back! I've changed my mind! I want my baby! So get here quick! Please! Get the baby out of here! consciousness. Jody, I've missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. 
too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Sorry, Jody. Powerful condenser I've ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. George, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? 
We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hainanjiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the infraworld. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Our building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infraworld world and make sure that no one will try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. The team will... Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. Your mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. Good to see you. For the mission's sake, I'll try to keep Biden from killing you. But no promises. Well, we're off to a great start. Tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time who do you work for? Where are you? It's completely deserted. You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. What do we do now? Uh, Jody, ask Iden to find a shelter somewhere. 
You hear that, Aiden? Damn fishing village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days walking on ice, eating snow for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! Look, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say. Then shut the fuck up. You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Something. And we won't make it through the night. Did you get a connection? No, it's gonna take some time with the storm. You're still angry with me, huh? Look, it, it probably won't make you change your mind, but I regret what happened. You're right. It doesn't make me change my mind. for a pee. Don't go too far, okay? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing.
road. A convoy of armored cars. They drove right by me. Did they see you? No. No, I don't think so. Let's roll. Let's follow them! Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. Into, into submarines. Submarines? That means the rift is... It's underwater. I mean, they must have a, a base down there and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Iden to take them out. Iden? What do we do now? Just give me a second, okay? What exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. But that fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? Take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. 
What about us? It's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. Give me the explosives. The base shouldn't be far. I am impressed. Few men would have heard that for so long. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades' pain. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. Now say nothing, you hear me? I'm going to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. What is your name? That looks painful. All you have to do is answer, and your comrade will not suffer anymore. Still won't answer? What do I have to do to make you speak? Perhaps you will not remain silent if I go a little further. This is so unnecessary. 
You only have to answer and this nightmare will come to an end. Answer, I beg you. I hate to see people suffer for nothing. An urgent request demands my attention. I shall return soon to continue our conversation. Now what? We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. And any idea how you plan to do that? No. But I'll figure something out. Jody, don't get too close to them. We can't just wait here.
Where are you, Aiden? Ryan. Wait for me. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, just go without me. You crazy? Enjoy We've done it. The base is destroyed. Let's get out of here while we still can. The rift is wide open. Entities are just going to come pouring out if we don't close it. Oh, it's too late, Jody. we got to go now. It's the only way. You know that. Explosives in the interrogation room.
close, okay? I killed me. The greatest discovery the world has ever known. Destroyed because of you, stupid American bitch!
Dios of Science. <laughs> I think I let you down, huh? The hole's breached. We're gonna drown. We're not far from the surface. Maybe we can make it to the top alive. Yeah. Sounds like a fucking good plan. Sorry, Witcher. I... No, that's okay. If you made the right choice, I would have done the same thing. You still angry with me?
wanted you to know just in case we die here. So how about you? Huh? Do you love me too? Good night, Princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Get some sleep. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Judy. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We are here, Nathan. 
We're right by your side. Come on. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much. condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. on top brass getting you down? McGrath makes me sick. Just a typical cynical asshole. You know, I would be doing the country a favor if I let Aiden take care of him. We played our part in all of this. I shouldn't have accepted that mission. I was only thinking about my freedom and that was stupid. What are you going to do now? Maybe I'll go back to the people I like. The people who like me for who I truly am. I haven't met too many along the way. <laughs> and what about you? The CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given them an answer yet, but... It's worth considering. Listen. Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us. And I, and I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. Worth a try. <sighs> I will do whatever it takes to make you happy. And you'll forget about all of this. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? Never say no to a single malt. <laughs> Great. I'll see you in a bit. Let's go, Jody. Nathan's waiting. Brian's a good guy. 
And I think he really cares about you. Here we are. Call me when you're done. I'll come pick you up. Okay. Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Jody, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars. For services rendered. That should help make a new start. Thanks. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, I wanted to die too. I cried a lot, banging my head against the wall trying to figure out why, why, why them. Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. Gave me everything I needed to study the infra world. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Soon we'll be together. I'm 
working on a modified condenser that can communicate with souls of the infraworld. Speaking with the dead, Jody. Can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. I want to hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. them through a little girl. You. I'm begging you. Jody, do this for me. Give me your hands. Nathan, you're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die. You, you're lying. Helen didn't say that. You did. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two worlds. That's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Nathan, I know how you feel. You know nothing about how I feel! You hear me nothing! Goodbye, Nathan. I hope you find peace. Hi, Jody. Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. I don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. A simple and 
elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Julie. We will always be grateful for your help. Separated again. What are you? What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death united in one world. It's not just souls on the other side. To death. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. Gaiden. Find something else. Get help. Hurry. Where's the rest of your team? Vince and Nick? <laughs> they have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. Entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Aiden? Is that you, Aiden? If this is a joke, it's not funny. Why would Aiden be here? What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Show us the way. Okay. 
Okay, I get it. Want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Freeman, I have level three authorization. He's with me. Mm, I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. You gotta get us past him, Aiden. Yes, 42, hello. Hello? Hello? I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman and Ryan Clayton? I'm sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. Now where? Jody's here? Jody! Get, get out! Oh. 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 Nathan! He's gonna deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. He thinks he's gonna get his family back. We gotta stop him. Containment field. Oh Christ, he's done it. He's done it! You need help? No. No, I'm okay.
This way! Hurry up! Don't stay here! Come on! This way! We gotta get up! Now! world needs is a son of a bitch like you. Get out of my way. Clayton! Get me out of here immediately, Clayton! Agent Clayton, that's an order! <sighs> Consider that my resignation. You're all gonna die here. You're all gonna die. <laughs> Stop the condenser or reactivate the field. There's nothing we can do. Let's get out of here while we still can. Wait. There's one more thing I can try. Hurry! We're out of time! What are you doing? It's a portable containment field. It should protect me long enough reach the condenser and trigger the manual self-destruct. Might be our only chance to close the rift. It's a long shot, but it's the best I got. Oh, come on, you're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here, let the military clean up their own fucking mess. Jody, no. Cole's right. It's our only chance. Been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus. I hope you're right. Or a little trip into the info world might come to a sticky end. Joe, don't get too close to that.
what I'm leaving you with. Fine. The Black Sun, Jody. Or nobody will make it. He's right. Come on, Jody. this. because they don't recognize you anymore. Your anger has changed you. I miss them. I miss them so much. Let me pass, Nathan. The condenser must be destroyed. You know it's the only way. so much. You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. Do it. Do it for me. Jody, fuck it. There you are. What happened? found what he was looking for. Come on.
the black sun just take this no and no do it. those things are gonna slaughter you take the damn belt and destroy the fucking condenser I get out of here before I change my mind <laughs> Our souls were bound together. I loved you and hated you for years. You were a part of me.
universe. Being with Aiden and those I've loved forever. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. Jody, we made it. Aiden? Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks, trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand-in-hand -hand with the investigators to shed light 
on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Aiden. For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. It took months, months of nothing passing by. And I woke up. I knew it was time, time to start again, to build a new life. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. It took me a while to realize how much I loved Ryan. I'd been alone and sad for so long. I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone. We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone, to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. As if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives.
things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but... I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore.